Mic check, mic check. <laughs> hey, everybody! Guess what day it is? No, it is not Word Frenzy Friday. It is Saturday, and I wanted to share with you a little-known Black history fact. Miss Charlotte E. Ray, she was born in 1850. Her father was a minister and an abolitionist newspaper editor. Her mother helped slaves escape north on the Underground Railroad. Charlotte was so intrigued by what the work that her mother and father was doing, she became an activist. Well, she later moved to New York, to New York City and Washington, D.C., where she went to the Institution for the Colored Youth and earned a degree. She became a teacher, and she started teaching students at Howard University, training them to become teachers like myself. Well, Charlotte wanted more out of life, and she was like, you know what? I have to do more. So she decided to apply to Howard University all-male law school under the name C.E. Ray. And lo and behold, she was accepted. Miss Charlotte received her degree in 1872. Even after receiving her degree, she tried to open up her practice and start practice, but she was unable. That's because she was a woman and she was black. Well, she didn't give up. She went back and she started teaching in the public education system. So, even after doing all of that work, she made an impact on students in public education, just like myself. So, today she is a pioneer, and she is known for one of the women who helped with the women's right to vote, and she was a delegate at the 1876 National Women's Suffrage Association. She is a pioneer and her legacy still lives on because each year they award an African-American young lady who is studying law with an award in her name. Now you know.